This is a review unit that I actually requested from the company Acasis. This is a 40 gigabyte per second NVMe enclosure. I've been seeing this specific brand Acasis online a lot, being talked about this specific model here. I have a NVMe here, um, quite a fast NVMe here. Obviously this is a Gen 4 high-end and in 800 Pro, so this can go very, very fast. Okay, so a nice little box here, good presentation. Get that for after. Oh, it's got some good weight to it. We'll set that there first. So goodies, you get a user manual. Uh, then you're going to get your fast. Um, H, then you're going to get your fast USB-C. Not all USB-Cs are going to be capable of doing Thunderbolt 4 speeds. So you know you can't just get some generic USB-C that just plops up. So if you have one of those and it doesn't give you the speeds you want, that could be why. Thermal pads and that. So there's a five millimeter, 0.5 millimeter, and a one millimeter. So you get two thermal pads. That's good. So that's the device there. Uh, it's actually smaller than I thought. I thought it was gonna be really big. Um, it's not huge, which is good. Um, good hand size there, you can see. Looks like there's a little vent there to get some heat out of it. Opening there, it's all metal. Nice, thick metal. Um, not cheapo kind of bendable metal. It's got a lot of um, good quality metal, which is good because it's gonna work as a heat sink. So that just comes right off. So actually it's quite easy to get off. Nice metal chassis there. Oh, it's got the little ball style things, that's why. Um, so you just got to give it some uh, pressure when you do that. So just it's not magnetized. It actually has like a mechanical um, connection there. So that's nice. It's not just going to like fall off. Nice metal there, obviously. There's our NVMe slot there. Um, do I want to take this out? Yeah, I kind of do actually. Hold on. Realistically, I should probably test this first before dismantling it, but that's no fun. So that just came right out nice and easy. Oh, it's actually got a fan in there. Look at that. That's cute. Okay, so that just slides right out there. Oh, I took the button off. So that's the button there. It's got an actual fan in it. So you can see there's the fan controller, lots of, con lots of chips and controllers on the board there. Um, nothing looks cheap on this motherboard. Um, this tiny little motherboard looks good. Now the fan is going to blow on the back side of the chips here rather than directly onto the NVMe. But you're going to have, you know, a thermal pad on the NVMe itself, um, which in theory is going to pass heat into that there. It's going to be there moving hot air away from your, you know, your chassis here. It'll be moving cold air in, um, but it should help cool, you know, the back side here, which will keep all these chips cool. A lot of the times, a lot of the times why these devices kind of break, you know, you can get NVMe enclosures and they don't last very long. And people say, well, you know, it worked for two weeks and then it broke. Well, NVMEs themselves can get quite hot. I mean, if you have a you know poorly designed motherboard, you could get a case where you know some of these solder solder melts at you know not the lowest temperature, but also you could theoretically get some type of you know damage to the solder or something on here. If it gets super 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 hot, and it just gets hotter and hotter and hotter and hotter, and you kind of like bake the chips in here. I mean, in theory, some of them could come off or something like that. So this is going to move air in here and basically cool all these controllers in here. So the actual enclosure itself won't break because on this side you know there's not much here there's the flip sides of a lot of those chips there. there's some little chips on here too but you know most of the actual primary chips are soldered on this side here surface mount on this side here so you know it'll keep all those chips and controllers nice and cool so that they don't break okay so we have our thermal pads here let's go with this here um, i'm not sure if that's going to actually touch that there we'll see um, you could obviously enhance this in many different ways. You could put on some more, uh, you could build it up taller so that it directly con contacts the top. I actually don't know. This is just going to stay in here and live in here from now on. Um, I'm not going to be taking it out, but it is easy to take out. Like if you just want to switch it, you just pop that out and then there you go. Take that out, put a new NVMe in, put that on there. Okay. Now what I want to do is actually see if this touches that, um, to dissipate heat contacts. Let's see, if that sits on there like that, to that height there, is that going to touch the metal? I'm not sure, actually. Color NVMe, and uh, you can put in, you can also just put in thermal pads. I have actual thermal pads too. Um, we'll just see how this performs stock though. You might be able to beef it up a bit, kind of give it a bit of an enhancement. All right. Oh yeah, it's definitely connecting. So it's touching now. It actually like took it out. So that's good. So for this 
Lexar NVMe that's quite shallow, I would say. It doesn't have a lot of Z-height or Z-height on it. Um, the dual pads would work. Okay, so we're gonna start on Mac here because normally I start on Windows. Let's change it up. So that button is the fan button. I pressed it and the fan's on. It's kind of hard to hear. Press it again, it's off. So no fan. Yes fan, so if the fan bothers you or you're not doing anything that's like hot, you could just press that button and turn the fan off. If you are doing things that are hot, like 4K video editing or something like that, or games or whatever, massive file transfers, leave the fan on. And it's moving air, like I can feel air. Yeah, definitely moving air. So good so far. The writes are 13, 14. The reads are really fast. Yeah, so we're doing about 25 reads, uh, 15 writes, which is pretty good. Let's play with this a little bit. I don't know what kind of difference this is gonna do here. We're in X fat right now, so, so yeah, I mean, it's working just fine. It's getting nice, good speeds there, 2500, 2600. Your normal NVMe enclosures, uh, these on Mac will get like, I don't know, for some reason it's slower on Mac, like 800, maybe 900 reads. So this is, um, 16, it's not quite four times, it's like three times, three and a half times faster than one of these typical drives, so it's fast, Base. I don't know why it always runs so much faster in Windows. I don't know if that's just the way that Mac works, but anyways, it's fast, it works exactly as anticipated. It's like just under 3,000 megabytes of writes, very fast, so it's a true USB 4, 40 gigabit speed. That's as fast as USB 4 can support. Like, it's, it's not a failing of the NVMe, this is not a failing of the enclosure. It's a, that's the maximum that this technology can support and it's achieving it. So it's obviously working perfectly fine. Let's check our temperatures though. Yeah, look at those temperatures too, 35 degrees. That was like a good right. I'm gonna move a huge amount of data onto this right now. I just wanna see if it gets hot because that's really cool. I have other NVMe enclosures like this one I actually like, it's pretty good, but it gets warm. Like I'm talking like 50 degrees, 60 degrees. It's running fine. I mean, we know it's running fine here, but let's just blast that. I'm just going to copy this over to the NVMe like three or four times. And then we'll check the temperatures and see if it stays cool. Look at those temperatures to 35 degrees. That's super cool. Like here for comparison, 50 degrees on my C. Uh, 20, this is not doing anything. So my C folder is hitting 50 inside the PC. I'm transferring from that into the enclosure. So in the laptop, and it has a heat sink and everything on it, 50 degrees. This NVMe that's getting written to is hitting only 35 degrees. That's very cool. Yeah, it's working really well. This is like completely cool. Normally I'd say, you know, I want the NVMe enclosure to be hot, meaning it's pulling heat away from the NVMe, but obviously it is because it's cool and it's peak because it's cool on crystal disk info there, it is running cool, but it's because it's actually actively dissipating heat here. It's working better than I thought, kind of the physics behind this. Um, I thought it would like kind of cool it down, but it's just the whole enclosure is maintaining like cool. Like you could set this on your lap. It has, it's no different than ambient temperature. Like I can feel the heat coming out of it. There's a little bit of heat coming out, like slightly warm air, but the actual enclosure is like ambient. Okay, I've moved uh, 100 gigabytes, I think twice or three times now. Um, just I just keep doing it basically so over and over again. But let's check the temperatures here. Yeah, it's only it's the 38 without the fan. It was 35 with. I mean, it's running really well. So you could probably just run this without the fan for hours and hours and hours. But you know, if you were doing video editing, like 4K video editing for hours on this thing, which is what these are designed for. These are designed for like serious professional you or you live in a hotter climate like here it's you know it's about 25 degrees celsius ambient where i am but say you live in a much hotter climate you know it's 35 degrees 40 degrees ambient um you know the metal could just get hot right so it'd be nice to just have that little fan on there okay while i'm at it i do want to just check out some prices here so this is their actual direct website here you can see that's the different model they have lots of models here holy smokes they have all kinds of them in here um you know they actually have ones that have a usb a built in they have a thick boy here, 2.5 and 3 inch. They have all kinds of stuff in here. Wow. I might have to ask them for more stuff. But anyways, um, yeah, this is, you know, this one has an SD card. But anyways, this is the model we're at here. So it looks like we're at um, 100 bucks. That's a good, that's a really good price, actually. This is an older model here, I think, the last year's model, um, 40 gigabit. This one's on for 100 bucks. That's really good, actually. Let's look at this year's model here. Da, 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 da. 
135 bucks for this model here, US, and then a third dollar coupon, so same price. It's $105 US. I think it's a no-brainer. So, I mean, if you're just looking for a generic game NVMe enclosure, I mean, these guys have, um, you can go back to the website over here. You know, they have like the simple ones, right? Like they have like these, they have these, the simpler ones, which are good for games. I mean, you know, you don't need 40 gigabit speeds. I'm going to be honest. I was eyeing this product anyways, and I've been eyeing it for about a month or two. And I think it's a really good device overall. So I actually recommend this quite a bit. I'll put links to this down in the bottom through my store um, affiliate link. Um, so it's affiliated with Amazon, not affiliated with these guys. So, you know, they don't have any say in anything here. But if you do shop through my Amazon store, anything on my Amazon store, I usually get a little bit of a commission. Uh, I'll also leave a link to their website directly if you don't want to shop from Amazon. But yeah, um, overall, I actually like this quite a bit.